Hey everybody and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am Dr. Goat. Today I am with my 2012 Subaru WRX and I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the wiper blades. Alright guys, hey look, you can see how goofy I look here. Anyways, what I wanted to tell you guys first, what I'm going to do, I'm sure I could probably find these measurements online, but I'm going to measure the wiper blades before I even go get them. So, from end to end here, looks like this is a 12 inch wiper blade. Hopefully you can see that. <sighs> these two up front are different sizes, of course. which the passenger side is 16 inches. Now, this driver side one, let's straighten it out a little bit. That is a 26 inch wiper blade. So 26, 16, 12 in the back. And now I'm actually going to head to the store and we'll pick out some wiper blades. All right, guys. So here at the store, you know, just a grocery store, I just wanted to show you guys the different variety of wiper blades that they had. You know, starting from the right there was the most expensive. And as you go down here, they got cheaper and cheaper. Uh, here is the rear wiper. I just wanted to show you guys that little hook on the back. 12B is what we want for my Subaru. Uh, I'm kind of guessing that's what all of the Subaru hatchbacks are, but yeah, 12B was what I needed. And yeah, supposedly the driver's side is supposed to be 24, not 26. All right, guys. So I spent a total of 73, you might not be able to see this, 73.43 on these, which as far as the rear wiper goes right here Rainex rear view that was literally the only kind that they had for the rear wiper blades but as as far as the front goes i went with their most expensive which is just how i do it most of the time so hopefully they're worth it but these Rainex silicone endura it says they're two times longer lasting Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Anyways, we'll do this one at a time. As I was showing you guys while we were in the store, this, we had to get this style, one that hooks onto that style, just because I've already seen pictures and whatnot, and I know that that is what this looks like. Yeah, look at that rubber piece just barely hanging on there. What I'm going to do first is remove this. I'm going to obviously lift this back like that. Bending it a little bit here, flexing it back. And if you keep doing that, that will release it. Okay. Just like that, that little guy. We will pull this new one out. They do give you instructions too, so if you need the help there. So this I'm going to slip on right here, back, and just like that. If you didn't see that, just the way this thing is shaped, it's hard to show that inside, but slipping it in like that and then twisting it right there, locks it in place. Next, I'm gonna move on to the passenger side just to get that out of the way, which these, yes, that's what I will say. Nowadays, at least most wipers like this, and I would hope one that's this expensive, uh, they come with a whole bunch of attachments to fit so many different things. All right. So with these, 
you've got this little piece right here, little flop up. And then this is simply just one of the little, one of the J hooks. I'm not sure if it's large. I think that is a large one, but you'll push. After we open that up, like we did, you push the wiper blade back to get it to release from that guy. Yeah. All right. So that is our 16 inch wiper blade. Hi, Lou. Okay, like I said, these come with so many different attachments, which I don't think we're going to need either of these right now, but oof, oof, my poor paint. But yeah, so many different attachments. Of course, once again, instructions. There it is. I was questioning it for a second, but yeah, that'll slip right in. Click that. Oh, of course, remove this. You do not want this plastic rubbing along here. Also, it says remove protective cover before use. Yeah, this one was completely shot too. That little rubber piece was, oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> That's where that little rubber piece went. I'm laying on my mirror. All right, finally, onto the driver's side. Once again, pop that, then we will push down on the wiper and release. So, once again, clicking up on that. This piece is already good to go. Buddy, oh, there we go. There we go. A little click. Get that. Pull that protective cover off. And we're good. All good to go, guys. All right. That's going to wrap it up, everybody. It's just that simple. Honestly, like I said, most wiper blades will come with instructions, too, to help you out in case you're not 100% sure on it. But, yeah. It's just that simple. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. And as always, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Good.